talking. You, know, That's weird. <laughs> you got this. I'm Mr. Marshall, and I've got Trent and Tyler here, and uh, we've got a challenge. Yeah, yeah, a really good challenge. A challenge that involves some money, right? Yeah. All right. So Peter yeah. over at um, Visibility Signage said um, gave us a bunch of different challenges, and you guys took on the challenge of creating a multi rotor out of some of his materials that he likes to donate to us. Yep. He came across this. New material, I, I don't even know what it is, so I'm gonna be very bad at this. Um, and it's it's different, it's not like our gator board, yeah, yeah, it's like a stronger version of it, and it's super strong and it can flex a little bit, which is going to create some challenges for him, yeah. Um, it's also gonna be good too because it won't break as easy, right? So, move, the idea is that we maybe crash. we can crash, <laughs> right? <laughs> maybe. So, the challenge is, is can you CNC router out of the material that's provided? A quad that can withstand some racing and can withstand some crashes, um, and whoever comes away with their quad in hand <laughs> is going to earn some cash money uh, from Peter. So the the thing you guys had to also think about too was um, we did a couple test trials on some acrylic that he gave us, yeah, and, it, and it didn't work. Yeah, it, it just was, immediately shattered. Yeah, um, but it was a good learning experience because. We're not dealing with carbon fiber, so this is obviously carbon fiber. We can go skinny on the arms. Um, but you guys had to change up your design a little bit to accommodate for structural strength. So these are your guys' drawings back here. Why don't you go ahead and talk about them, and, and whose is who? So is this uh, yours? Uh, this is mine. Yeah, and this one's mine. Cool, so they're very similar in terms of size, which is yeah. good for the challenge, because keeping it kind of identical. And then you guys got your top plates here. Yep. Mm -hmm. And you guys are using um, a base quad uh, that this right here that we have yeah, as your guys' template. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So this is a template that we have. This template is also on ftstem.com um, as a lesson too. So the boys use the exact same lesson to um, create these, which is pretty cool. Um, and you guys have all prototyped these so the holes match yep. up. Yep. Everything works good. And so tell me why now you started to do these crazy um, corners. Well, originally, um, a, both Trenton and I had a very, very skinny arms. They were, yeah. uh, and uh, that's what originally broke when taking it out of the CNC router. Mm -hmm. So we went back and we really widened them up and made the bases like really large. And so the like smallest point in them is still pretty thick. Yeah, and so wide. they don't snap as easy with the material. Yeah, and then we also came back in and we had to make this a lot wider because the holes and the lines were on top of each other essentially in uh, right. carving. So the, the router that we're using is the Inventables um, X-Carve, X -carve, X -carve, yeah. right? And we noticed right off the bat when we started to do it, we couldn't get it online. We're using the yeah, Inventables. The bit, we, yeah, the bit was a lot bigger than we thought it would be. Right, so, so we're using a 132 inch bit, um, but when it cuts, it cuts on the outside of the line. We cannot get it. I mean, we're just, we're rookies at this now. <laughs> Um, and so, for example, like this, we might have to figure out how we're going to do that. Yeah, yeah. We were, I was thinking about just taking it out because you had a design on yours and I thought it was pretty cool, so I just threw it Yeah, we, and there's a cool feature on the software that we're going to show you guys that will allow you to cut certain lines deeper than other lines. So essentially That's we cool. could say, this guy, let's only cut him halfway into the foam board yeah, and then or whatever this piece is, it, yeah. and then yeah, you should be able to see that. So we'll, I don't know, we'll, we'll play around with it. We'll, we'll see what it looks like. Both of them are really cool. I would buy these designs. These are awesome. Um, but are they going to withstand the, the test when it comes to this board here? That's the question. Yeah. Yep. So the base is going to be, this is the base. That's going to be this material. Mm -hmm. And then what do we say about this? Just like acrylic top, the, the, the clear, clear, the clear uh, stuff. Clear bulletproof plastic. Yeah. Okay, so he's given us um, for his from his sinus shop the, these pieces for the base, and these pieces are, I would say, about four to five millimeters to six millimeters thick. So it's it's good. Yeah. And then the acrylic that we're using is is about a one sixteenth ish, a little bit bigger than that. Um, strong enough for a top piece is going to yeah. be just fine. Yeah, because the top is going to be taking us. We got some old standoffs that we'll, that we'll use that um, they'll put on theirs. And 
we'll see how they come out. So the, the next step is now that we have, and I know we had a bunch of emails and, I'm, and we're trying to get to them, about how do we take a CAD drawing and we put it on our, on our CNC machine. And so the next step for these boys is we take this file here and we can only save it as a DXF to um, DWG file. What we really want is that SVG file. That's what the Inventable software reads. So what we want to do is we're going to bring these into a program that we have called Corel. And Corel has a ton of outputs. And so we'll save it as an SVG. And once we have it as an SVG, we can take it over to the, the printer and we can, or the CNC router, go ahead and cut it. Mm -hmm. So first things first, let's go convert these over and then let's go head over to the CNC router. Sounds good. Cool. All right. Okay, so now we're here uh, with our X-Carve. Um, this is a thousand millimeter railing system one. Um, we got two of them, Colin, if you want to look at both of these. Colin, that a boy. <laughs> We've got two of them. I've got the one over there that's being um, built still. Um, one, the teacher who built them is Mr. Luffler. He's our other teacher um, on board with us, and we'll talk to him afterwards to see how the bill went. But this is the one that's ready to rock and roll. So we've got that PVC, um, a PVC board on here. And the program that we're using is Inventables. So Colin, this is what it looks like when we bring it in. And we have to bring it in as an SVG file, so that the, both the boys got their, their frames on the piece. And you can actually see it, it's kind of hard to see, but um, what it looks like on the side. We set our bit rate, or sorry, our bit size. Um, we just selected birch wood because we've been practicing with it, and then we just said um, 20 inches, I forgot what the speed rate is. Um, and then we should be ready to go. So I'm gonna have you guys start this up. So go ahead and go to where it says carve and we'll go through the whole thing. Okay, now the first thing it says is confirm material thickness. Material thickness is 0.197 or five millimeters. So we're gonna do 0.5 millimeters, we're good. So but we're going to move the, um, the XYZ over to us. Or not. Whoops. Back up a little bit there. Sorry about that. We're moving at an inch each time. Okay, and then we're going to change it to like 0 0.1. And we're going to start moving. And then can you guys. Whoops. Can you guys move it out a little bit on the Y? Yeah. Up. One more. Okay, that's good. Now go down on your Z. One click. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Go. Again. Almost to where you almost touch it. Okay, now let's change the bit rate to like 0 0.01. Because we don't want don't pierce the hole in it. Yeah. If we want to be touching the top, you should be good there. You want to confirm materi material thickness. It says make sure that your material is fully secure before continuing. Material is secure. Um, confirm our bit size is a 1 size bit. We want to confirm it. And it says, asks us do we want to move it. We already got it there. So I'm just going to say confirm home position. Now it's ready to go. So if we say raise the bit and we got to turn on our spindle. So what we're going to do now is just kind of put this away. And what we'll do is you guys just have to monitor it. Um, we'll wear masks, we'll wear goggles, and every once in a while we'll come over and we'll clean up the materials and, and uh, we'll see what this thing looks like and how it produces at the end. So we just got to turn our spindle on because ours is <laughs>
Hey guys, welcome to Mesa RC. We're out uh, behind Irwin today with uh, Peter from Visibility oh, Signage. Wow. And uh, around the uh, springtime, he gave the kids a challenge to take the materials that he has at his store um, and to design and make a quad around. And so we've got Trent and Tyler here who have spent about the last month and a half uh, designing and making their quad. And they're ready to actually take on the challenge. Um, and we're so thankful that uh, Peter's been a part of us all year, helping us out with materials. And uh, what are you, what are you going to present to the, the winners today if, if they do win? So first place gets $150, second place gets $100, and it's we're all winners because it's going to turn all these materials into quads, into airplanes, and that's what I was really trying to do with this whole thing. So definitely get out to your local sign shop, ask them for the scraps because we can make things out of this stuff. Awesome. All right, let's see these guys in action. All right, good luck. Good luck. Alright, here we go. You guys are too. I'm so scared. I'm so scared, bro. Bye, Tyler. Yeah. I'm in the grass. So, um, yeah, you want to ride them up? Yeah. I know, right? So there's uh, there's still a lot of weight on these. Trim, let's see what, where yours was. So you guys just lost, I wonder if it's the DJI. It was Signal. I couldn't see at all. When I got up in the air, I couldn't see. Because we're running 200s on these, and uh, we've been able to get out as far as the track on this. So that's, 
That's interesting. Yeah, there, there were some um, you guys did, okay, that, that didn't go as, as well as we thought it would, but you guys did way better in your training oh, a lot than this. Sure. Uh, and so definitely some um, some signal issues, but you guys gotta be proud of yourself. You know how to build a quad now. Uh, you know what it takes to design a quad. You know what it takes to, to put all the electronics on. And uh, I'm still very, very proud of you guys. Um, and uh, I know Peter is too, and he's filling out the stuff right now. What do you got? Dude, what if my arms were this long? Okay, you can put yourself down. Okay, um, okay, I didn't He's gonna present the award to you. Hey, good job, man. <laughs> Alright, I had more front. fun building it. Yeah. It was fun building it. Good job, you guys. Tyler, Thank you. you're the winner. Thank you. 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 It's a gigantic chair! <laughs> Good job! Thank you. Well, what do you guys say? Well, thank, thank you, you very much. That was a ton of fun. Yeah. Awesome. We'll do it again next year. Awesome. I'm sure you're going to have a lot more people in it. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Peter. Thanks, guys, for watching. Woo! And uh, see you next time. Ago, a friend of mine and I walked into a copy and print shop. He needed to buy a sign for his business. I saw the cost and that prompted me to start Visibility Signage. I had the goal of providing high quality signs at an affordable price. We aren't just a sign company though. Along with our standard clients, we offer our best products through distribution channels like ASI, Sage, and Distributor Central. We offer fast shipping, no setup fees, low order minimums with large order capability, and many of these products have the lowest posted pricing. We service three major market sectors, industrial labeling, franchise supply, and we're supplier to large distributor networks. Don't forget about our great customer service. We'll have in-house staff answer the phones, and we have the ability to assist with custom artwork if needed. Most of our products are built by hand. A lot of time and work goes into making sure each sign is made to the quality standard and expectations that our customers have, but also that we have too. We now have 10 printers and 8 vinyl cutters, and that can all process thousands of square feet per day. Our production team builds and completes hundreds of orders every week. In the shipping department, we have internal checks that allow us to ship orders accurately and get our customers tracking information quickly. And being in Colorado, we are a central shipping location to anywhere in the U.S., which is perfect for our clients. At the end of the day, we love what we do, and we have fun doing it. Thank you.